It's all part of the menu. Nature is timeless. Yes, what the hell is going on? Yes, Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and The Menu is a cool and pretty fresh new American black comedy or satirical comedy horror movie. It was directed by Mark Milet, written by Seth Rees and Will Tracy, only shown at festivals so far, which is where I saw it at this year's Biennale, and it's coming to theaters in many countries around the world starting at the end of November. It tells the story of a very special event. The dining at a very special, exclusive restaurant that is located on a remote island. It's catering to very rich people, who can afford to spend more than a thousand dollars just for this one evening. An evening that's completely in the hands of that restaurant's chef. Chef Slovik, played, as expected, perfectly by Ray Fiennes. He's in total control of everything that's going to happen. And as one of his biggest fans points out earlier, he's not just a chef who delivers fantastic food, but he's also a storyteller. And in a way, he's the storyteller of the menu. And this is one of the aspects that I enjoyed so much about the film. It's one that takes place almost entirely in the time span of that one evening. And also almost entirely in the confinements of this small elitist restaurant, with our guests in the front and the open kitchen in the back. Everything unfolds along the different courses of the menu. Everything is part of that menu. And everything in that menu was arranged by Chef Slovik. It's not just food, but there's a bigger concept to it, which begins to unfold slowly and then with a bang. And as you expect, there's a dark and violent twist to it all. And some of the fun of the movie is this anticipation of what might happen next. And the fun is also to see these rich people lose their cool and accept their bitter fate. I think the menu could actually be a nice accompanying piece in a double feature with this year's Triangle of Sadness, as both movies are set in the world of the rich and famous and play with classism in a very drastic and explicit manner. Our entry point to the menu, like in Triangle of Sadness, is a young couple, this time played by Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt. They are our main protagonists and yet, as the evening progresses, this really becomes more of an ensemble piece. And again, I really liked how this all unfolds. It has such a clear structure that is used to its advantage. As the dishes are served, the camera organically shifts focus from one table to the next, showing us these several different ugly faces of richness and arrogance, fame and fortune, corruption and power, and so on. All these people are very much stereotypes, and it's a movie that's super direct and always heightened and exaggerated. Not really interested in realism, but more in themes and form. It's a setting that you just have to accept and buy into to have fun with it. But because it's a genre movie, because it's a satire, a horror movie, that's totally fine. And to make it even more obvious and acceptable, the movie or storyteller of the movie, which again is the chef, even hangs a lantern on it by saying later on that it would have probably been rather possible to escape all of this if people really wanted to but they didn't really seem to, and therefore they are stuck in this dark, comedic and increasingly menacing setting. And while the movie does have an R rating because of the language and disturbing violent content, it isn't really that explicit when it comes to the violence. There's actually not even that much violence in it after all, and the jump scares in this are mostly just Chef Slovik clapping his hands. Overall, I think it's nice to have some cool horror movies like The Menu that can be watched by people who usually aren't that comfortable with horror movies. And the biggest reason for it is certainly the humor. When it comes to humor, it's certainly one of the most subjective things. And I talked to a friend after the screening who couldn't really stand the movie at all and only found it to be very obnoxious. I for one think The Menu is just a very entertaining and rather tight light-hearted horror comedy experience in which the storytelling quite wonderfully works in tandem with the special conditions of this whole setting or event. The form, the presentation is very precise and slick, which not just only works really well with the satirical approach in general, but specifically with that of the world of super expensive dining. In the end, it's maybe not as clever or deep as it wants to be, and since it doesn't really become particularly emotional or super tense and surprising either, it might remain more of a snack than a full meal. 
Hence why I called it lighthearted, despite its dark twisted nature. But for what it is, I thought it was just fun. So in German I'd say, The Menu ist eine kleine, böse Horrorsatire, bei der Form und Inhalt wunderbar harmonieren und Ray Fiennes uns als Koch und gleichzeitigem Geschichtenerzähler eine äußerst unterhaltsame, wenn auch nicht komplett sättigende Mahlzeit zubereitet. I give the menu 8 out of 10. It's more like 7.5, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about the menu. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.